So if you have been on Twitter, you know the narrative that's been out there. Well, since since 2016, after Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice came out, the narrative is pretty much that if you hate that movie, it's because you just want it to be like Marvel, and that you don't understand movies, and that the movie was just too mature for your immature mind. Well, first of all, I want to clarify. I'm not here to talk about the quality of BVS or what I personally thought of the film or whatever. I just want to talk about the confusion the film brought in the conception of many people who apparently cannot make the difference between the tone of a movie and what actually makes a great film. So what do I mean by tone? What is it? The tone is basically the atmosphere that defines the exchange between the characters within the movie. In literature. It is defined as an author's attitude towards a subject. It lets you know how the author feels about something, which is not that different with film as the screenwriter also lets you know how he feels but through character's interaction. Careful though, tone is not to be confused with mood, which is how the filmmaker wants you to feel through the plot, characters and setting. That's why some people think a movie like Dark Knight has a dark tone. They are wrong. See, The Dark Knight, through its setting, locations, lighting, characters and plot, establishes a mood that feels dark and greedy, but the movie itself is light on dialogues and interaction between the characters. You have the Joker cracking jokes, some cheesy dialogues from Batman or Two-Face, but contrary to movies like Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, the setting and premise seems so dark that it makes the whole thing feel dark as well. Batman v Superman, Man of Steel, Watchmen, Logan are dark, both in terms of mood and tone. Movies like Hellboy, Batman Begins or The Dark Knight may be dark in terms of mood the film established through the settings but in terms of tone, they are not dark at all. Ok so back to the topic. When Zack Snyder decided to make Grounded Superman, he wanted to reimagine the character as if he appeared in our current world with all the political tensions involved and the tone and mood he decided to go with had everything to do with that concept, with the story itself. As soon as a director or studio think they need to adapt the story according to a certain tone because it worked for another movie in that period, that's how they fail. The best example of this is probably the Fantastic Four movies. Both the old ones and the more recent film based both their tones and mood on already successful films. In 2005 because of the success of Spider-Man, in 2015 because Dark Mood was cool at the time and everyone wanted to be Nolan. And guess what? They failed. Why did they fail? Because for Fox, the tone detected what the type of movie they wanted to make, what the concept, the premise and the story should come first. They forgot we loved Sam Raimi's Spider-Man because the character was relatable and the story was interesting and well structured. The tone and mood was there to complement the story. It helped the director tell us how he feels about Spider-Man and how us, the audience, have to feel about Spider-Man. I have no idea how this Fantastic Four directors feel about those characters and I don't think what they want us to feel about those characters is how we want to feel about them. Logan, which is the most serious X-Men movie ever made, was done that way not because it was cool to do so but because you can't make a movie about a broken Logan in the verge of death with a lighter tone, it won't work. Just like you can't make an Avengers movie too serious or less heroic. But you can make Avengers Infinity War a bit more serious than the first Avengers movie because the film is supposed to be more violent and more shocking. Then you have the confusion that what's dark is good, which is the most absurd opinion out there. See, I absolutely personally didn't like Thor Ragnarok that much. Because I think the tone they went for just didn't fit the character the way it was originally set up in the MCU. Just like some people did like Man of Steel for similar reasons, it's totally okay. However, Thor Ragnarok absolutely succeeds in the two things 
that I have been talking about since the start of this video. And first of all, it is that the film tells us how Taika Waititi feels about the world of Thor. And if you know his style of directing, you know you are literally watching the director speak through these characters. And the second thing is it tells us what he wants us to feel about the character and his world. For Taika Waititi, Thor is a badass, he is funny and he's an handsome god. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of the film, I felt that way because the film clearly sends that message better than any other Thor film before. If some people feel like what Zack Snyder tells them to feel about Superman and the world around him is not how they want to feel about the character, that doesn't make them dumb people with nostalgia obsessions, especially since the character has existed in many people's lives for decades. The same happened in Star Wars The Last Jedi with Luke Skywalker as people after leaving the theater had the feeling the person they just saw on screen did not sound like Luke, did not act like Luke and how they felt about that character at the end is not how they want to feel about Luke. And at some point we have to acknowledge everyone's point of view, while ignoring the lunatics on the internet of course. So I want to touch a little bit on the DC vs Marvel debate. So you have some DCU fan out there who like to make fun of the MCU because it has jokes, while calling BVS a masterpiece because it is more serious. If you don't like BVS, it's because there was no kids joke and that you are just not mature enough for it. I think it's the wrong approach to this. I can tell you that there are comedy movies I like more than other more mature films. It doesn't make me an, an immature foy fanboy who doesn't appreciate mature films. The comedy maybe talked to me more than the mature film. Maybe the, char the characters were more interesting or the story made more sense, or it was better directed. If someone thinks they enjoyed a more colorful film like Civil War and that BVS didn't speak to them, it doesn't mean they are stupid and that you're smarter. It just means you enjoyed it, it didn't. We look for different things in our movies, especially comic book films. That's why our opinions are so different and that's what makes movies so amazing. Every time I say that I didn't enjoy Thor Ragnarok and, and that Spider-Man Homecoming was just okay, I've got people telling me that I didn't like them because they weren't joyless like Man of Steel. Which is wrong because I actually rate the first Iron Man movie higher than Man of Steel and that movie has humor. I love Man of Steel because of the concept and the story were refreshing and appealing to me, not necessarily because of the tone. Again, the tone was just the icing on the cake because it fits the story Snyder wanted to tell. Whether you like it or not, that's another story. I love Iron Man for the same reasons, different tones for different, different type of storytelling. <music> Lastly, I want to say something about the false narrative about DC Comics that's out there as well. It is that it needs to be dark all the time. It's so wrong in so many levels. I saw people complaining about the Shazam costume that it was too bright. Same for Wonder Woman 1984, a costume looked too bright for some people for some reason. When I tried to explain to someone that Wonder Woman having a bright costume was actually fitting, they told me that's what we all thought about Justice League and it didn't work out. And that's such a dumb example to give. Justice League was a movie written by the same people who wrote Batman v Superman. The story was probably written to fit in a similar tone and mood. Then the studio saw the reaction to BVS and they tried to change everything while keeping the same story, premise and director. It was a disaster waiting to happen. Imagine if a movie like Watchmen trying to be funny or Logan tried to be comedic. That's what happened with Justice League so it is not a good example to give in this case. Then you have Wonder Woman. Patty Jenkins once said in an interview and I quote, Superman was all about you. It was about you watching and realizing what it would feel like to have great powers and do great things. It was full of love and emotions. Patty Jenkins knew she wanted to make an inspiring movie, a Superman from this new generation. That's why you have scenes like the LA scene or No Man's Land 
You really think a bright costume for a sequel is a bad sign when she's probably going to double down on a vision from the first one? Not everything needs to be dark in the DC universe. Not all the heroes need to be all moody and confused. If you think Shazam should have a bright costume or that the movie should be dark, then you probably don't know what the character is supposed to be or what kind of story works for well for him. So my point in everything I just said is that a dark tone and mood doesn't make a great or smart movie. Actually there are a lot of dumb movies out there that are trying to be so serious it's laughable. Just like there are smart but funny films as well. A lighter tone doesn't mean go it's good either. Just like it doesn't mean it's bad or it is for kids. Just like a fun movie doesn't automatically mean the movie is great. Maybe it's just okay or possible. Green Lantern and Ant-Man have similar tones. One is a good movie, the other one is not. Also, both the MCU and the DCEU can coexist without one group of fans trying to look down on the other. Both make comic book movies with fictional characters. It is not a matter of life and death. It's just entertainment. No one is dumber or smarter than you for liking or disliking a movie. And if you believe you are smarter or cooler than a certain group of people based on your different opinions on movies, then you are the dumb one. Hey guys, thank you as always for watching. Let's keep the conversation going but please with the utmost respect because you know they are just comic book movies and it's not worth your time, it's not worth arguing about insulting people so let's be respectful with each other and if you like this just click down there and subscribe it will help me a lot you can also check out my new video 30 seconds of questions uh, and I, I've got some pretty cool stuff I'm working on and I'll be dropping it next Monday until then stay safe I'll see you around bye bye